So, like I said, I train them like athletes. I weigh the bird every day. So I, I bring the bird to a specific weight, two grams. I weigh them in grams. So like this bird, the Jerpergen's 805 grams today. The, the Gossock's uh, 1166, she's big. And the Prairie Falcon's 455. So, and then not only do I weigh them, but I weigh out their food. You, you have a little bit better control when you, when you do it that way. You know, if, if you don't really pay attention to how much you feed them, but bird might be fat, starts getting lazy, make, you know, they develop bad habits, all that kind of stuff, so. Every bird I fly flies with a transmitter on it. If you look at their, their, their tail feathers, they're hanging down like this. On the center deck, every one of my birds has a little clip. I'll put a transmitter there usually. And then um, I like to put backpacks on them and for the second transmitter because it's up on the body, it's not on the leg. When you're in a training season, how often do you take them out? Daily. Daily? Yeah, I take them out every day pretty much, unless I, you know, work gets in the way, <laughs> which happens. Okay, I'm gonna take the hood off now, so he's usually pretty good. He might sit up here for a split second. He's, he's spotted those pigeons flying through right there. <laughs> Let's sit there for a second. He'll take off. Oh, it's a contact sport, so. What's that? Good. At least you got a chance to chase something now. He won't feel so bad. So what is the lure that you've got there? Is it a? Like it's just a piece of leather with like, uh, like duck wings on it. Feed them is uh, is quail. They've got places that raise fresh frozen quail, just like chicken. If, actually, if you looked in Costco, they sell the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah, it's like he's holding a turkey leg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> usually climb right at about 800, so on average, I don't know, 50, if it's cold, the cold changes everything, if it's yeah. cold, it, it could be up to 65 grams. When it's hot in the summertime, they hardly Less. need anything, so 30, 35. Made short work of that. Yeah, That's seriously. <laughs> But that was good. So you got to see, I mean, that was a wild yeah. flock that just happened to come underneath him. Cool. And that happens occasionally. So that was yeah. perfect for him. And he was, that was probably part of it too. He was like sitting up there waiting, waiting for something to happen, right? Yeah. It's like, yeah, uh, cool. I don't want to go down to that thing. He would have came in. It was just, yeah. I knew he would be up there for a few minutes. And at the peak here, I mean, he was probably seven, 800 feet over here, maybe six by the time he started to do. But, um. I try and so get him when, up when, about a thousand feet. When when you're competing with that that one show, I mean, is it it's 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 based on how high they go, and then um, there's about four or five different categories. But one is okay. You have 15 minutes. The bird has to go up. It's also where it mounts. Is it over the falcon or is it you know off flying around in the distance? Um, so mounting, how high up, how fast, um, then the the stoop. Uh, how close does it come to the, the pigeon? Uh, pursuit? Did it? How many times after the initial stoop did it um, turn change, the pigeon? Change, change, change the okay. yeah, change directions. All of that. Kind of like cheap, cheap dog trials. Yeah. <laughs>